Yep. Hey you guys, it's been a while, I'm sorry. It's just been kind of crazy, hectic, nuts, stuff, you know, just busy stuff going on. Uh, family situations, all of that stuff, and every we all go through that, right? I mean, even as a stylist, even though we don't talk about it in the salon, we go through a lot of same stuff. We just hear it from you guys. But um, as a stylist, just recently, somebody came in to the salon and wanted a flat top. And they said, does anybody know here know how to do a flat top? And I wasn't going to say anything because I'm new into the shop, so I thought maybe somebody in there knew how to do one, and everybody just looked at each other and was quiet, and I said, hey, I know how to do it. I teach it. And he looked at me, and he says, good. He says, I'll be right back. So he came back, and we did a flat top, and he proceeded to tell me that he'd been to several salons, and a lot of them were just saying, we don't do that here. Well, that's crazy. A flat top... If you know how to cut a 180 haircut, that's all that is. And you just blend the bottom like a fade. That's it. 180. You know, when we did the 180 haircut on the mannequin, what did I do? I pulled it off the stand. I said, don't do this to your clients. You know, you don't make them walk on their hands to make sure it's straight. But you saw me put the mannequin upside down, perfectly straight across. That's what a flat top is. Here's a quick question for you. See if you guys have been listening. On a flat top, on the top, where would the shortest point be? Okay, I want you to think about that while I show you the diagram. Let me move over this way because I'm going to move this. Yeah, cameraman, can you get the, can you get this all right? Is that coming through okay? All right, look at my diagram. Remember how do we do, how do we start a diagram? Question mark. A number one, and then the, a number two. That's how you start your diagrams. You can look at any side view diagram, and if you look at it, that's what you're going to see. You can look at the side of a mannequin. It's a question mark. Profile right there, question mark. Okay, so here's the parietal line. We sectioned this mannequin off at the parietal line just to get it ready. Normally, I don't. I push it back with the comb, but because I'm teaching, teaching, not showing, teaching this class, I want to, you know, I went ahead and moved it out of the way. But yeah, you can just with your clipper comb, if you know where the lower ridge is at, because that's where you're going to do what? Carve out. You have to know where the upper ridge is at, because this is where the lower ridge and upper ridge is where the hair is going to be the longest. Where then is the hair the shortest coming out of the head and if I can get this thing to right there you go long long Let's see this is a little bit longer off to the upper ridge around the apex but look at the length of those hairs so your shortest point is going to be at the center apex oh by the way here we go I'm gonna promote my book again Please purchase it. It's a good read. Rated five stars in Europe. ABE Books, thank you so much. I wish it was rated five stars in the States. But it's, it's just about what us. It's about stylists. It's about what we think. It's about when you come in and request something, what's clicking in our mind. It's also about things that we do. Sometimes it's about people that we meet. So... It's a, it's, it's a decent read, let's say that. I'm very humble about this. Um, somebody, I was talking to somebody the other day, they said I should do one on nails. They were giving me a manicure and they were saying, you know, you should do one on nails too. And I'm thinking, well, I guess I could with uh, acrylics and gels and all of that stuff. So my gels are kind of peeling off a little bit right now on this hand, but time to get them back on again. But anyways, get the book. Trust your PhD stylist. I am a PhD. What are you? All right? Professional hair designer. All right? Okay, so hope you get it. Hope you choose to get it. Let's say that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take everything up to the lower ridge. I've got my clipper at triple zero because normally a flat top 
is kind of like, a, I don't know if you know the marine haircut, but a high and tight. So it's pretty far up and it's very close to the head normally. Some people like a little bit of length, maybe with the two and then take it up. But normally it's done pretty, pretty short. So I'm going to take this mannequin. We're going to cut everything straight up to the lower ridge and then we're going to blend. When I do the top, I'm going to just pick it up and cut it. But you've got to know what horizontal line is. You've got to know where your parietal line is. All right, I'll be standing behind the mannequin and cutting so you can see me do it. Because I don't want you to miss any of this. But I was really surprised when this man, he wasn't an older guy either. I mean, I don't think he was too old. He was maybe in his mid 40s and he wanted a flat top. And to tell me that he had been to several salons and for them to say, we don't do that, that means we don't know how to do that. So um, let's just get started, all right? So I'm gonna start along the flat part of the head, travel around the occipital. When I do the back, normally I would have them lean forward. The reason I would have them lean forward is because of that indentation at the center nape. Now, remember all the different parts of the head form. We should be speaking the same language by now. You know where that happy face center nape is at. All right, the very center of that is where the head, the, the skull kind of cur curves in on some people and pretty dense on some people, pretty pointy down into it. So you have to kind of stretch the skin to make sure that that looks clean and does well with it. But we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, take my oster. And pretty much, I'm just going to be using a clipper comb to do it. So we take this up, and first I'm just going to take it off, because we're taking it down, right? Just take it off. Alright, see that's kind of crooked now, but you see that that is automatically went to the lower ridge. Can't see that side. Can you okay. see it? Yeah. Oh, you can't see it? Better? Yeah. Okay. If you see it, can you see the front of the face though? I want them mm -hmm. to see the front. Okay, if you see it, you see where the comb leaves the head. That's the exact line. Look at that. That's where the comb leaves the head. That's the line for your lower ridge all the way around. You're going to put it at the center occipital, bring it straight up, and that's your line for the lower ridge. All right, for that tight, high and tight, short, flat top, or a high fade. Some people like a high fade, all right? And that's what that is, without taking it to the parietal line. All right, so now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start carving. Remember the carving method, I told you to practice this. This flat part of the comb, you carve it out. You see where that in comes? Turn that off a minute. See where that kind of inverts a little bit? It's flat here, and then it inverts in a bit. Well, if you look at it, the side view, flat, and then comes in. So that helps you carve it out. These are the finer details about it. So I'm gonna take it, bring it up, and there's my, my lower ridge. I'm taking the comb, the very end of it, right to the lower ridge, I can see it, and then carve it out. Take this, right to the lower ridge, carve it out. I want that lower ridge to stay there for right now. I'm not going to take it off yet. All right, normally I go side to center, side to center. So I'll be moving the mannequin over or I'll stand on the other side and do the other side for you. So I don't need to go in here and try and guesstimate. I'm going to go in here and take it up to the lower ridge. See, the comb will do it for me. Home of the clipper. Okay, bring it up. See how it automatically does it? See how that leaves the head? Because the head curves in right here. So we're doing an actual fade into it, and that's the lower ridge. Even the clipper head will leave the head form. All right? 
All right, so I'm gonna turn her around. I'll come over to this side. And forgive my elbow, because I know it's in the way. Now this time, there you go. Look at that. Just does it by itself. See it? The, you can see where the, the blade is leaving the head if I take it straight up. If I move forward, it's not going to. You're going to get a different cut. You're going to pop it into the parietal line. We don't want to do that. Yeah, I was really surprised that guy wanted, that, that no one, no one, and there were some seasoned stylists in there. I was real surprised that they didn't. Okay, I'm still going. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. And I'm just taking it up to the lower ridge. Going. And now, here's another thing. If I wanted to leave this out, let me show you another, I don't want to do that. Okay, let me show you something else here real quick. Let's see if I can hang this up here. Hopefully, yeah, it's not gonna fall. All right, you notice that. So if I take this comb, where the comb leaves the head, and I bring it straight down, I can take this flat top and also make it a little bit of a mohawk. Take this, V it out into it, and you can already see that it's almost there and it could be flat top with a bit of a mohawk. That would be kind of a cool look. We're not gonna do that today, but I'm giving you some ideas on what you can do, all right? So I'm gonna clean this up. See yeah. it? Straight up, straight up. That's all I'm doing. I'm not carving out anymore. I don't have to. I'm just taking it straight up. All right, don't, don't do this. All right, you see where that would go up? Stay within that center occipital and bring it straight up. So I'm gonna take this now. But I want you to see this, I want you to get it. And with the mannequins, yeah, you kinda of have these little lines and stuff just like you would with a client. Depends on the direction of hair growth. Oh, there's this white hair right there. Okay, so you see that pretty much we're at the lower ridge. It looks like I jacked it up a little bit right here, but don't worry, that's gonna be okay in just a minute. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. Now, if it's easier for you to do half first and then the other half, then do it, all right? I can do this, not too concerned about doing it. But if it's easier for you to part it off in half and only work half of it till you're done, that's perfectly fine. The decision here needs to be made, how high a flat top do you want? Do you want it to be real tight where you can see the scalp here? or do you want that little bit of the scalp covered up? So what we're gonna do first, we're going to cover it up. And I'm gonna stand behind it, like I said. Put this off there. See, this is a pretty quick haircut. I mean, when you have your clients, uh, let, let me give you a clue on the client, all right? Mannequin's hair, they just grow out all over. Not really any cowlex to be concerned with, not, not too much of a problem. On a person's head, one side grows forward, one side grows back. This is why when you try and comb it back, one will bubble out a little bit. Now there's ways to take care of that. I'm gonna show you how you can do that and that's with your texture shear. You've gotta learn, get an idea on how to do scissor over comb. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do half first. Now, that's kind of a cute haircut right there already, isn't it? And some people like that, shaved up underneath and. Now, just leave that on top. So you could go through and just cut that, bowl it around. Okay, so, so know that. Know that one side grows forward, one side grows back, and that's due to the cowlick back here. Some people have cowlicks up front where the hair wants to go to one side or pop over. Again, your um, um, texture shear is the best tool to use for that. Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up. 
and I'm just going to take it a little bit higher. You can, you can see that. Straight across. All right, let me do this right here so you can see it. See my guide? I want you to see my guide. See that guide fell down? Now, is my comb straight or are we crooked? No, it's got to be perfectly horizontal. All right, so I'm going to go around. I hope I don't knock anything over. <laughs> Almost. All right, so I'm going to come over here. And remember, I'm following a guide. I do have a guide. You can see it. Okay, now put the test in the wire. You got to make sure that everything is perfectly straight before you take the clipper to it. All right, now there's my guide. Come across. There you go. There's my guide. I'm going to pick it up. I know you can't see it, so I'm going to turn the mannequin around so you can. And I'll kind of stand off at an angle. See the guide? All right, so now I'm gonna just take that off. And I'm taking it right to the upper ridge. I'm not taking it to the parietal line. I am drawing it over to the upper ridge, just outside the apex. That's why I'm telling you, you've gotta know where you're at and where you're going so that you can do this properly. All right, we've got a pretty good horizontal line. And I'm taking it, you see, I'm up. How do I know that I'm up at the upper ridge? There's, there's your parietal line. The upper ridge is flat to the base of the clipper. All right, right there. That's where it stops. Same thing with the comb, see it? The comb leaves ahead. That's the exact spot. So for you to get this, you've got to know what, where you're at, where you're going. And identifying those different parts of the head is a big factor in understanding how to do this cut. Now I'm going to pick it up right at the upper ridge and I'm going to take it to the center apex. Pick this up. Take it all to the center apex. Now see how that's coming out? Now, this is your next step. We've done the bottom to the lower ridge. We've taken it up on top, taken it to the upper ridge, and then we cut that center point. See it? It's straight, okay, at the center apex. You're learning the steps right now. I will be taking it shorter in just a few minutes. Now, how do we get rid of all of this stuff? Simple. See your clipper comb? You're going to press it against the head, but you're going to hold it perfectly horizontal, but yet vertical. Do you see what I'm saying? Horizontal, but yet vertical. Straight up. Not like this, not like this. Place your comb on the flat part of the head. That's why we call it flat. Is it the temporal area? Yes. However, identify it, flat, all right? So we're gonna take it. Right there, I have my comb right at the lower area of the lower ridge, all right? Take it straight across. Straight across. Is my head straight? You gotta make sure that that head is straight also because they're also gonna end up with a crooked line. Now see, my comb is straight, horizontal, bring it forward. So now we've got this area, don't we? I'm gonna come over to the back to the other side. I see we've got one long piece right there that I didn't see a minute ago. We're gonna take care of that right now. And this mannequin, of course, you know it's a mannequin for gonna say. All right, so again, lower ridge, that's where my comb is resting. And always stay on the clipper. Don't go above it or below it. You could create a cut right there that you don't want. Okay? 
See it? Still coming. Still coming. Now I've already kind of shaped this with my flipper. I'm going to bring this straight up. And I want a little bit of length here. So it's hard to determine where the lower ridge is at right there. See, it's right there. Let's see, I'm following the head form. You have to, this is very rounded. So I'm following the head form. As I do it. I know you can't see this right now, and I apologize for that. Just doing a cleanup on it. But the whole thing is, is this is the lower wrist, and I'm staying on it. You can see it, that that length is there. Okay, so we've taken it. We know this is flat. So how do we know that it's flat? This is the time to clean it up. You are going to line them up a little bit. You're going to clean up. You know, line up the back, square it off at the nape, or if they want it rounded, whatever, with your, with your, um, I guess you can do it with a peanut. Um, you know, that's the, got a pretty much of a zero blade on it to clean the edges up, okay? So now what we're going to do, let me find, oh, they're there. Okay, I'm looking for my water bottle. So how do we know that this is a flat top? Okay, got one long piece there. Okay, now we're looking at it, looking at it. We see some little long pieces that we've got to clean up. And this is where you can make decisions too with this type of cut. I mean, if you leave the, top, the front a little longer, this isn't a bad look on a guy, all right? So a flat top is, that's all it is. It's a fade with a flat top. And the shortest point is at the apex. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my shears. I'm trying to get all my tools organized here. I'm gonna get my shears and I'm gonna stand behind it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to pick it up, let my shear help me, and because it's wet, it's just a little bit more controllable. As I do this, if you cut it front to back, it will stand up. I'm going to show you something. If you cut it side to side, it won't. See that lay back down? You have to cut your flat top front to to back and it is going to go all the way across so I'm going to take it just and as I'm doing this by the way as I pull this up I can see my guide right here all right let me show you see there's my guide so that I'm going to move my hands out of the way that tells me where to cut I don't want to cut it that way I want to cut it front to back or it will not lay down I mean, or it will lay down, I'm sorry. Okay, so. And there's my guide. Okay, let's do the other side. Now, because I'm gonna be bringing this over, I can start at the center apex and I can see my guide. Making sure that my comb is perfectly straight now I'm not taking this to the center apex I'm taking it straight up do you see where it's standing up now if I cut this at this angle to this area just at the back of the apex about where the vertex is at we are creating a hard line the hard line here is their strength in numbers in other words all these hairs have all been cut together to create like a fence to go up if I take this and cut it front to back, I'm cutting the same, making the same mistake 
that I would be if I was cutting this side to side. So this is one time that I will bring this straight up and cut it now. Do you see where it stays up? All right, so I'm going to, now we want this to blend into the flat top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and make it even shorter. But do you see where it is? I wanna make sure that he's pretty straight. I can see some long pieces and it makes it a little bit hard, but, um, oh, there they are. Okay, I'm gonna have my arm in the way a little bit right now, and I'm sorry about that, but I want this to be perfectly straight. So this is where your comb tells you. Your comb is helping you do that. Okay, center apex right there. Upper ridge right there. This area, I want that to be a hard line. I'm not taking it up into the apex, it's staying back behind the apex area. So you can see that it's flat. Make sure, yep, it's flat. So I might have a little one right there. Okay, so what happens with this right here? Well, this is where your gel comes in. This is where your texture shear comes in, especially in this area as well, when they have cowlicks and so on. So if you want, I can take it even shorter to where, I mean, where we are right up into it. But I think this is a little bit more of an attractive flat top. But, um, you know, just remember everything from the frontal fringe right back to the back of the apex. You're going to cut it what's called front to back. Three and minutes. I'm just cutting it with a shear. How are we doing with time? Three minutes. Three minutes? Okay, we're okay. So see how flat that is. And the comb is doing it for me. Now I'm going to come back here. And I'm right behind the apex again, but yet creating a hard line. If it goes a little bit further than, you know, what we'll do, we'll cut off, but you won't be able to tell. Okay, I'm going to go right to the center apex. I'm going to bring it straight up. Go right to the bridal line, bring that straight up. Now, I want all of this to be, let me get in front of it so I can see that it is. Okay, I've got some little peaks right here. See, normally I'd be doing this in front of a mirror and I could see this. There you go, that's pretty flat. That's just a 180. That's all that is, is a 180 haircut. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get my texture here. And this is how I'm going to clean up the sides. The comb is going to direct, the comb on the texture shear is going to direct that to go up. I'm just going to take it. So I want to make sure that you see this. So I'm going to turn her around like this. I'm going to take it, clip, 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 clip. I'm not going into that area as far as the head form. It's still going straight up, just like the clipper. Want me to do a start and stop? Yeah, if you want to. Do you need to? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, now you see this side here. I just did a start stop, but you really couldn't tell. Again, I'm going to do it this way so you can see it. And see, this is pointed up. I want it to come up. This is going to force that hair to come straight up. And it's also fading and creating that nice line in there. Okay, press it. Now you notice I'm not turning the comb. The comb is coming straight up. Okay, now I'm gonna take it here, bring the comb straight up. I want this to come up. See that? That's just like a miracle. Look, look at that. take this, put a little bit of comb into it. I see one long piece right there, but see how that's staying up now? All right, and just we're gonna wet it down a bit. But you can go shorter on this flat top. 
the procedure is exactly the same way. It's not different. You're going to do the exact same thing. It's just basically when you're up here that you tend to get lost in it. Put a little bit of gel, maybe just about a dime size. Get it in your hands real good. This is fighting, isn't it? I might have to cut that loop out. There you go. Suck it off. And see how the sides tend to blend in just a little better now. Like I said, I usually have a mirror in front of me so I can see my little things that I might need to clean up, might need to organize a bit. Let me take a look at it. Yeah, it's pretty flat. And see the sides will come up just exactly like that. So it actually looks like it's squared off. The shortest point, as you can see there, is at the apex. This hair is this long. Look at, look at my finger. Right there. Look at my finger. Right there. That's the variable, but the top is flat. So what's cool about this, you can brush it with some lightener, put some tips on it, whatever. Uh, along the edge, if you find that you have a hard line on the edge, all right, and sometimes you will, especially with when the hair grows forward, uh, it makes it just a little bit more difficult. And if you find that you have a hard line, I always take my clipper comb. Let me stand over here, and I'm going to hold it straight up. See it? One, two, three, one, two, three, and just keep going. And sometimes you may need to take your clipper comb and on the very ends, on that very line, but hold it straight up, come around. Can you get a zero and maybe take it on the edge to get rid of that hard line? Yeah, you can. There's many ways to get rid of that hard line that you're gonna find right there. And it all has to do, you're gonna find that the side that grows forward is going to be more visible than the side that grows back. The side that grows back is always going to lay nice. You're not going to see that line. It's going to fade in nice. The side that grows forward, it's always going to give you problems. So knowing how to clean that up, and a lot of times what I do is just my texture shear, clean it up, and help that fade in just a little bit better. So, and also, you know, just take your clipper comb, press it in like that to where you're kind of bending it and get that hair really cleaned up in there because it pushes that scalp in a bit. Where with the mannequin, it's not going to push it in, you can't tell. But you can see that that is flat. That's definitely a flat top. And if you want to soften the flat top, let's say that you don't want it such a hard line, okay? That makes it just a little bit softer. And it lays a little better. Stuff like that that you're going to do. Let's say they don't want the corner. If they don't want the corner, I'll show you. A lot of people, some guys just want to be able to, to spike it up a bit without it standing up off to the side. So I'm going to do it on one side. What you're going to do, you're going to have a corner here. And you're going to just take it off. It's called riding the parietal line. Now you see how it's flat, but now we have a little bit of a rounded edge right there. Let's see, I'm still working on cleaning this up, making it real nice, high and tight right there. But see how that cleaned that up and it's not so straight off to the side. So there's this is your way to do a flat top. Practice on it first. If you can get a human body to let you do it, good luck. Uh, make sure it's a relative because they're going to talk about you anyways. You know, but somebody that doesn't mind that afterwards, if you mess up, you can shave the head, whatever. Um, but it's a real good practice for you. And I have a feeling it's going to be coming back. So it's good for you to learn it. All right, don't forget my book. Take care, guys. God bless. Good to see you again. I've missed you. It's been crazy. Like I said, it's been crazy busy. We've had some certain things come up. But um, good luck with your stuff, you know. Do well. Make your parents proud. Take care. God bless. Bye. There you go. Hey, guys. I know we said bye. 
But after we said bye, and after I watched the video, I thought, okay, it was rounded. It wasn't flat. Do you see where it's a little bit flatter now? I cleaned it up. That's the thing about a flat top. you got to have a mirror in front of you. When I'm doing it freehand like this, I don't have a mirror in front of me. Do you see that one little spot right here? Okay, that's where you would then take your clipper, and you can freehand it, but hold on to your client when you do. So you take that off and make it perfectly flat. When I don't have a mirror in front of me and I'm talking and all that, but I want you guys to get on a flat top. We could take this even shorter. We could go right here and keep taking it down. I'm not going to because this has already gone on long enough. But I also noticed this area here, okay? And I'm just gonna hold the mirror, I mean the mirror, the comb perfectly straight to the flat part of the head. And take it up. So I cleaned it up. Now you notice you notice how the, the comb is bending a bit. I'm pressing that into it to keep it nice and straight. I don't want to move it over. Now, another thing that I did was I rounded out the back right here. You see that? So how I did that was I just took the comb. I held it at this angle, but I'm going to hold it like this to show you. I took that corner out first, then I went to the center, and then I, you know, you look, look at the comb, the angle of the comb. That's how it went to get rid of that uh, kind of area sticking up right there. Um, it's a little bit harder when you don't have a mirror in front of you and stuff. And like I said, now you can see that it's a lot flatter. You have to work on a flat top. You have to, I mean, but the clipper combs, uh, and you may have to blow dry it. Instead of just gelling it and cutting it with the shears, you could gel it, blow dry it, and pull it up with your, with your clipper comb. You know, and then once you dry it, then go over it again with your clipper. Uh, you have to look in the mirror. So I wanted to, to come back and show you this because I noticed, I thought, oh, okay, we have a little bump there. It's rounded. It's not flat. So I wanted to show you that, yeah, it can be flat. And we could, like I said, we could take this even tighter. I happen to like this particular length better. But you will get some guys, you know, die-hard flat toppers that wanted, you know, where you can see the scalp right here. And then the rest of it just kind of flows around it. But I wanted to add this onto the bottom. Uh, I didn't want to let it go with that rounded part. I felt like, you know, I'm going to get comments on this and I don't want to get comments. I want to come back and show you that, yeah, you know, but you need a mirror. All right, I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm just kind of doing it. That's an excuse, but it's a good one, isn't it? All right, well, take care. Again, bye. We'll see ya.